Happy Friday to all and greetings to the citizens of Nindy Nation. I'm Jeff and today we're checking out three must-own games for the Nintendo Switch that are currently on sale at their lowest prices ever. Kicking things off with a game that I think belongs on every single Switch is one that actually launched right alongside the console back in 2017. Graceful Explosion Machine is a side-scrolling arcade shooter developed by Vertex Pop that maintains its position as one of my most played games for the Switch. As you can see, the presentation is simple, vibrant, and action-packed. You move left or right similar to Defender or Housemark's Resogun and clear out waves of enemies as you dash, shoot, and balance the cooldowns of four unique weapons. You can tackle the game one level at a time for quick two to five minute bursts or take on one of the four worlds in its entirety for an endurance run that can top 30 minutes or more. With around 40 stages in total, my only complaint about Graceful Explosion Machine is that I wish there was more of it. To that end, you can compete on the leaderboards for each stage, and replaying levels to increase your grade is what's kept me coming back for more than four years now. All in all, Graceful Explosion Machine is an absolute gem, pun absolutely intended, and is at its lowest price ever with a 75% discount for only $3.20. In 2019, Nindy Nation awarded its Game of the Year to Children of Morta by Dead Mage and 11-Bit Studios. This Diablo-like action RPG expertly weaves its narrative into the roguelike structure in the same way as last year's Hades, but Children of Morta did it first. Sometimes you'll be hacking and slashing, and sometimes you'll be twin-stick shooting, and the amount of content available overall, including New Game Plus and a full co-op mode, is astounding. Children of Morta received numerous, significant updates, including a brand new, entirely separate game mode that just released this past week. The new Family Trials mode essentially nixes most of the narrative to give you a randomized dungeon crawler with permadeath, which is different and meaty enough that it could be considered a game all on its own. If you want to hear more about Children of Morta and why it's my go-to pick for anyone who loves roguelikes, but especially for those who typically steer clear of the genre, I'll link my review in the description below. If you're sold and finally ready to brave the mountains with the Bergson family, Children of Morta is currently on sale at its lowest price ever, half off for $10.99. Our final game of this video might look similar to Children of Morta at first, but it's an entirely different animal. Moonlighter is indeed a top-down action RPG, but this one will feel right at home to fans of 2D Zeldas. After a mysterious portal opens up in town, your family sets up shop to sell wares to those brave enough to explore the town's dungeon. You set out to tackle the dungeon yourself, and what follows is a procedurally generated dungeon crawler that never runs out of new ideas. The hook, though, is that as you either complete, escape from, or perish within the dungeon, you return to town, loot in hand, and sell it in your family's shop. In addition to a fully fleshed out and excellent dungeon crawler, Moonlighter also contains a shop and town building component with its own metagame, skill trees, and customization. Don't fret though, if you don't like that stuff and you just want to stick to the action, you can automate most of the shop mechanics and you'll still find a deep and engaging action RPG that's well worth your time. Moonlighter has also received a bevy of free DLC, but if you want even more, there's a significant expansion available for purchase. This week, both versions of Moonlighter are at their lowest prices ever, with the core game 75% off for $6.24 and the complete edition 70% off for $8.69. I didn't have a video planned for today, but these three games are so good and so cheap right now that I want to do my part to ensure nobody misses out. If you're picking any of these up, or you've already discovered the wonders of Graceful Explosion Machine, Children of Morta, and Moonlighter, let us know in the comments below. For more indie goodness on the Switch, check out our weekly roundup of every new release right here on YouTube each and every Tuesday, or check out this week's video covering four of our favorite indies that don't really fit into a traditional genre. 
If you enjoyed the video, your like or subscribe really helps us grow and would be greatly appreciated. That's it for today though, so thank you for watching. Links to Discord, Twitter, and everything else are in the description below, and we look forward to seeing you back here on Tuesday for episode 110 of Nindy Nation. Until then, I'm Jeff, this has been another Nindy Nation Deals video, and remember, no matter what type of game you're looking for, Nindy Nation will be right here to help you find just the thing to keep your Joy-Cons synced.